The following show is brought to you in part by Not Me in Arlington, Massachusetts. Not Me is a nonprofit organization with a mission to promote, advance, and unify self defense education and training for at risk populations. Visit Not Me at www.not-me.org. From BaseNet, it's about Los Angeles for stories that will inform, motivate, and inspire you. Now, here's Julie Marie about Los Angeles. Hi, I'm Julie Marie about Los Angeles, and as you can see behind me, we're here in Pasadena at the Rose Bowl for the 52nd annual Watermelon Festival. This is the first time that they've had it here, seeing as they've grown in size. So let's see how this year is different. Sponsored by the Sunland to Hunger Lions Club, the festival offered free watermelons, as much as one could eat, and a free spin on the watermelon wheel to win other prizes. Watermelon eating contest and seed spinning challenges kept the crowds entertained for little to no cost. I was in a watermelon contest. Free watermelon. And uh, time to spend time. Having fun spending time with my family. The watermelon, of course. (laughs) Absolutely. And since it moved closer to us, like more like in Pasadena, we we just really wanted to come this year. There was also a special appearance by none other than Ronald McDonald, who thrilled the crowd with his wit and magic trick. And everyone say the magic words, have a banana! That's a very silly magic word. All right, now, let's see what happened. Let's see if the pictures made it inside. Wow, you did it! Celebrity chef Joseph Poon demonstrated his carving skills for all three nights, creating one-of-a-kind watermelon sculptures for people to take home. And culinary demonstrations by Chef Daley Thompson inspired residents with his watermelon-themed whiskeys and pork rib chops, of which were passed around for as many to sample throughout the afternoon. The addition of watermelon really gives it a sweetness because the pineapple is kind of tart, the honeydew is kind of bland. Uh, the, 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 the watermelon really adds. And I think, you know, using watermelon as an ingredient is so healthy for you. I mean, it, it, more people ought to really experiment with, with using watermelon in their daily cooking. The Royal Court, including the National Watermelon Queen, Amber Nolan, and the newly elected State Queen, Erica Cunningham, showed their enthusiasm for the fruit by encouraging healthy living through community involvement. To me, it's a great thing to be part of the community, and um, it's just a great thing that I can do. Because once you enter this industry, you are a part of the family. Mm -hmm. Um, And I just love to be able to educate the public on the health benefits and just really get the message out there on how important and how wonderful watermelon is. Here at the 52nd Annual Watermelon Fest, hundreds of residents showed up over the course of three days for the opportunity of spinning the wheel and winning prizes like these. They were given as much free watermelon as they could eat, and the age-old question of whether the watermelon is a fruit or a vegetable was answered. Technically, it's a vegetable. It is a member of the family Cucurbitacea, and that includes the Latin name, basically, for (laughs) all melons, gourds, squashes, things like that. So think of watermelon as a really big cucumber that tastes really good. We like to consider it a fruit um, because of the sweetness of it and the sugar content and this fruit is a lot more appealing to your consumers. I'm Julie Mui about Los Angeles.